this is a shard from a pot about 10,000 years old. Uh, it was found by archaeologists at a Chinese site called Jiahu, uh, which is a really interesting archaeological site. It's has some of the oldest evidence of rice being eaten as food. It has some of the oldest musical instruments. It has some of the oldest written language. It's a, it's a really rich site. This pot, when they found it, had some weird residue inside it, which eventually made its way to an analytical chemist named Patrick McGovern. He's at Penn. McGovern ran a whole bunch of tests, Feigl spot tests, gas chromatography, mass spectroscopy, UV beams, shot lasers at it, did everything he could in his lab, and eventually found the ingredients of that residue. So he, he found three things. He found essentially oils from beeswax, which only comes from one place. You get that from honey. He found evidence that rice had been pulverized in the pot. And he found tartrates, tartaric acid. Um, so for anywhere else at any other time, that would probably have meant grapes, um, which are really high in that stuff. Uh, but while there were some wild grapes in China 10,000 years ago, um, it, they, there weren't that many, and they they weren't Vitis vinifera, which is the only species that we used to make wine from. But they probably were more likely it was hawthorn fruit, which is, uh, I asked him what that would taste like. He said it was like a chalky apple, basically. But, it's, but it was fruit. And what, <laughs> what McGovern realized he had, he didn't find ethanol, I should say. As I mentioned, it's really volatile. It's evanescent. You never find evidence of the actual booze. You just find kind of the evidence of the evidence. But McGovern put all that stuff together in his head. And, as he says, you'd have a hard time not letting that ferment if you mixed all those things and left it in a pot. It would want to ferment on its own just because of yeast in the environment. This pot held the mother Eve of booze. This is humanity's oldest known intentionally alcoholic beverage. 10,000 years. Uh, think of the ingredients. It's rice, like in sake, right? It's honey, like in mead. It's fruit, like in a wine, all mixed together. This is the oldest evidence that we have of us trying to make something good to drink. <laughs> right. um, he, uh, I asked him if I could hold it. And he, um, it's just in his office. It's on his shelf. But I asked him if I could hold it, and he got very nervous. And he took out nitrile gloves and put the gloves on. But I, but I got to hold on to it. And it, I've never held anything that old before. It was, it was very profound, this connection to somebody else who just tried to make some stuff, you know, home brewer, right? Um, but that's how long we've been doing this, at least, right? Harnessing this natural process to do what we want it to do. This is us domesticating yeast while yeast domesticates us. Please give me more sugar so I can make you this thing that you like. <laughs>